Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, two wines today from uh, the uh, Wakefield Winery, as we know it in the UK, or Taylor's as they know it in, in, uh, in, in Australia. Uh, both Clare Valley, both Riesling. Uh, first one is the 2014 regular Clare Valley, and then we've got a much older one, not too much older, but four years older, uh, of their uh, single vineyard, uh, St Andrews. So anyway, first things first. Uh, this is the 2014 Clare Valley Riesling, weighing in at, oh I can't see what the alcohol is in, uh, here because it's got a little label slapped on top of it, but um, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dry, but hopefully tasty Riesling. Ah, oh, oh, that smells good. There's a zinginess about it, citrus freshness and leap. Um, some, um, once upon a time, when Clare Valley switched from uh, corks to screw caps, uh, the wines ended up, uh, when they were first released, being a bit like anal retentive, sucking lemons. But uh, they backed off a little bit on uh, uh, both their use of sulphur, which was suppressing a lot of the flavours, and uh, not being afraid to maybe not make them quite as bone dry as they were. So here I smell this, and it smells like there's this um, uh, really lovely, fresh, dainty lemon and lime character, what I call dry, uh, dry sugar. Uh, if you imagine, um, I can't remember the last time I had Dolly mixture, those little square tough candies that come in weird colours that are not exactly natural. But the dusting of icing sugar that you get on there, there's a particular smell and a character about that that I get when I, when, when I smell it. And um, it smells like it's going to be um, really, yeah, tense but juicy. Lovely zing to it. Dry. Um, there's this fruitiness coming in, but there's also this stony character. I hesitate to use the, the mineral word, but there is what I call life beyond fruit there. And then that little character of the icing sugar uh, flitting in and out on the finish. Um, I think that's a wine that uh, will give pleasure now, but also give pleasure for probably most of the next 10 years. Let's see uh, whether it's Big Brother will, is going to give me pleasure now. So this is the St Andrews um, Single Vineyard Riesling Clare Valley, first planted 1892. And I don't think they're claiming any of the vines here are uh, that old. But um, 2010 vintage, it's had a chance to. Uh, it, 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 you've probably got older vines, better soil, and also it's been. It probably had a little bit more time on lees, and it's certainly had a lot more time in bottle. Let's give it a whirl. Well, compared with the um, uh, the regular release, um, the first things I smell. The thing I smell here: extra layer of both richness and also maturity. So the maturity is just adding this uh, character. I was talking about icing sugar on the first one. Here it's, on, it's what I call dry burnt sugar. Uh, there is this slight um, yeah, dry caramel um, character coming through. Uh, the citrus fruit which was jumping up and down in the first one is getting a little bit um, muted is the wrong word but it's developing into uh, characters like preserved fruit. So you're getting a little bit of uh, uh, of the crystallised orange and uh, preserved lemon, uh, but it still feels like it's uh, going to be um, tense, young and vibrant. Oh, and that's looking really good. Rich but tense. It's got these rich mouth-filling flavours. Um, on the first one I, I could taste that edge of the, the um, what I call the dry icing sugar. Here, um, you're more left with this, maybe it's that character that's, that's giving this uh, slightly honeyed character. And there's a floral edge to it too. Not to it too. To it too. A um, little bit of hay. Um, one of those, I, the more I sniff it, the more these like, extra characters come out. feels like a wine that's in, in the, its middle age. It feels like if you want to uh, keep this for, uh, an, a, again, another 10 years or so, it's going to give further pleasure and extra nuances are going to come out. I like it now. I tend to prefer my Riesling on the slightly uh, younger side um, while it's still got this edge of fruit coming through. But um, uh, I, I've, I've, I, actually, I'm not sure whether I've seen uh, the what I call the modern era of uh, Clare Valley in the screw cap era uh, when they are when they're sort of 10, 15 years old because uh, they only really started doing them in two, in 2000. Um, so, um, but uh, this is looking this is looking quite smart, and um, I think uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'd, I'd really like to have some monkfish or something with this too, something that's got a little bit of fattiness about it, uh, quite a weight of flavour because uh, the wine has 
got this this body and this muscle about it, uh, but this tension that will cut through the uh, the fat of the monkfish and um, keep me coming back for more. So I better have not drink too much now. Save some for later. See you soon.